Most people never get to experience life in a small Texas town. Here's a glimpse of what it's like. Excerpts from Greater Tuna. A theater production written by Justin Williams, Joe Sears, and Ed Howard. And performed more than any other play in Texas. <laughs> Charlene Stanley, don't make me call you again. Oh, Jody P. Miller, get in here and finish your breakfast. Jody, honey, you want some more oatmeal or biscuits and gravy? Maybe I could fry you some more bacon. <laughs> no, Mama, I don't want nothing. Well, here, have some more. <laughs> Jody, what's out there on that back porch? Oh, no, you didn't. Uh-uh, I will not have another puppy. But Mama, it followed me home. <laughs> From where? From Petey Fisk. That Petey Fisk has given you another dog. He saves the dogs of the world and sends them home for me to feed. Well, you can't have another dog, Jody. Eight dogs is too many. <laughs> but I'll take care of them, Mama. Honey, it's not a matter of taking care of it. It's not normal. It's not normal for you to have eight to ten dogs following you all the time. Oh, it don't like that, though. No. Oh, now isn't that the <laughs> oh, stop that. Come on, you. Yes, you come on. Get out there with the rest of them. I could kill that pig in fast. <laughs> oh, Stanley, honey, you want some oatmeal? Uh-uh. <laughs> How about some biscuits? Uh-uh. <laughs> Will you try some hash browns? Oh, Mama, I'll get some M&M's on the way to trade school. Family <laughs> man cannot live by M&M's alone. Oh, no, Mama. <laughs> oh, don't let that dog in the house. Oh, Charlene. Charlene, honey, would you hurry up? Your breakfast is getting cold. I'm right here, Mother. Charlene, you want some oatmeal? No. <laughs> Would you try some hash browns? Uh-uh. What about some biscuits? No, thank you. Well, honey, at least have a cup of coffee. Oh, Charlene, stop! Remember that agreement that we made that we were going to use sweet and slender in our coffee? <laughs> I do sweet and slender when I still had something to live for, Mother. Oh, honey, what's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Charlene, <laughs> everybody can't be cheerleader. <laughs> oh, Mama! Well, honey, there are other things to live for. <laughs> Name one. Well, there's... I can't think of any right now, but when I do, I'll write them down and give them to you. Oh, Mama! <laughs> Charlene, turn that radio on. Oh, don't let down thoughts. Thunder, I wish you would get on that table. Oh, Wolfie, I said the next time you come in this house, I know a German shepherd that's got to be looking for a new home. And you're next. Now, I have had it. You dogs will be the death of me. This is radio station WHO in Tuna, Texas, serving the greater Tuna area at 275 watts. Sun and all. Good morning, Tuna. This is Thurston Wheelis. And this is Arles Struby. And this is the Wheelis Struby Report. Here we go with the news. Take it away, Arles. Well, the on again, off again auditions for the Tuna Little Theater production of My Fair Lady are on again. On again. Now, they've been called off due to lack of budget. But Joe Bob Lipsy, who's the director of the show this year. Oh, and who is a racing graduate of Southwest Texas Eastern <laughs> a and I State University. <laughs> go ahead with the production by using sets and costumes from last year's show of South Pacific. Well, you never know. Something like that's just liable to put us on the map. Yep. On it, on it, on it. So they'll find us. Now from our national news desk, nuclear accident imperils millions in seven states. Texas not included! <laughs> well, that's all the news we got for you. And now it's time for a public service announcement from Petey Fisk of the Greater Tuna Humane Society. <laughs> Take it away, Petey. This is Petey Fisk speaking to you for the Greater Tuna Humane Society. You know, we here at the Humane Society receive a whole lot of flack saying that we're insensitive to the needs of fish. Listen, my friend, we care a great deal about fish. We understand that when you take a fish out of the water and put it in its mouth and rip it through its jaw and take a knife and stick it in its navel opening and cut it to its neck and scrape its insides out, that fish feels bad. Join the growing number of 
Americans who prefer their fish on rivers and streams and not on a plate with tater tots. Lady <laughs> Liz, speaking to you for the greater tune of humane society. And I almost forgot to introduce this week's <laughs> of the week. Yippee. This charming part rat carrier, part chihuahua, will make a lovely pet for someone. probably get blown away or drown in a tropical storm that's heading our way from the coast. That'll be Tropical Storm Luther. That storm's gonna hit here about 10 o'clock. It's gonna bring a lot of rain with it. It's gonna be wet and cloudy and miserable. It is. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> Hello, Petey Fisk. This is Bertha Deal Miller. Petey, I want to talk to you and I want you to listen. What are you talking about? I said I want you to listen. Petey, Jody has never seen that he don't have a pack of dogs around him. They follow him everywhere. Now, I will put up with Shep, Wolfie, Trixie, Bingo, Blossom, <laughs> Sweet Nothing, Dolly, and Thunder. But if that little yippie, half rat, half whatever you've been talking up on that radio, if that dog shows up at my house, Petey Fisk, they'll have to drag the river to find your body. Now say goodbye, Petey. Well, folks, the Tuna High School Jaguars lost their season opener to the Cold Bark Mansion. It was a hard-fought contest, but in the end, the purple and green cats were on the short end of a 48 to nothing score. <laughs> Coach Raymond Chastis is here in the studio with us. Coach, what happened out there? Well, we lost mainly because we couldn't score. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that they made seven touchdowns was a major factor. <laughs> I don't know which was a bigger factor, but you take them two things away. It would have been a tie. <laughs> so I'm real proud of our boys anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Oh, well, this is just in. A UFO, that is an unidentified flying object, has been spotted by R.R. Snavely over Lake Mobit. R.R. says it looks like a gigantic hovering chalupa without the guacamole. <laughs> what it says. Well, that's all we got for you today. We'll see you tomorrow. Till then, remember our motto here at Tuna Radio. If you can find some place you like better than Tuna, move! <laughs> Jody, what's out there on that back porch? <laughs> 